Hi, I'm Hideki Maeda uh, of Tech Care's Rose Company. I'm really excited to introduce my new hard top water bait. It's called uh, Chop Kicker. Uh, it looks like a pencil bait type, walking bait type bait, but uh, I put a very special prop on the tails. I have tried to make this prop for three years. It's taking a long time and finally, I can make the right prop for this. I'm committed to the sound of this prop. So this is made of stainless steel and a very unique kind of curb design to make the very special noise. Not like just a buzz bait, it's more like a prop, 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 like a <laughs> very unique sound. I really like it. My inspiration of uh, this bait came from the Wapa Propa. Thanks to the inspiration, I made the sprinkler and taker. And I really want, I have been wanted to make the kind of soft uh, hard bait, but uh, it's not the exact copy of the Wapa Propa. So I just want to make the kind of little skinnier one. The tail is not heavy, so even when you cast close to the bushes or something bank, uh, the bait it doesn't dive into the water and this has uh, no hook on the tail. So some people complain about uh, low fishing rate, uh, hooking ratio, about uh, no hook on the tail, but uh, you can more cast close to the bank and uh, doesn't dive into. So it's more you can tight close to the, the cover. This is what I wanted. So I'm really excited to release this in a US market. Now I want to show how to fish this. How I fish a chop kicker, I just uh, lead it simply like a buzz bait or kind, any kinds of proper type of baits, uh, but simply. And uh, you can adjust the speed, literally speed to hear the light, good sound like like this. I really like to hear this sound. And also, this one, I can lift it, twitch it like like uh, like this, like a uh, devil's horse or kind of prop double prop so two things i like to use this or maybe a little bit and pause or just a little bit fast slow fast slow <laughs> any kinds just uh, any way you like just to try it's very fun bait to use. Actually, I'm addicted to catch fish on the top water. I really love the broth. So if possible, I want to catch fish on the top water. So I use any time if I have a chance. But uh, late spring, summer, fall, if the fish biting on the surface, you should try this. It's very fun to fish it. Gear I recommend to this. Uh, I use the uh, bread line, uh, like a 40 pound test line. Uh, it's, it's strong enough and make a long cast. And uh, I prefer to use the fiberglass rods. Fiberglass makes the better hooking, I believe. But uh, you can use any kind, you know, uh, like uh, your favorite top water gear. I like the high speed, like a 1.7, like that. And uh, I like to uh, use the snap on this, but uh, you can tie directly. Um, but uh, the why I don't uh, I use the snap is I like to, to tie, uh, not the paloma for in, any type of the bait, but the hook tangle, it, it's bad. So I really like the snap for any kind of bait. I show you a small tip of the top water baits with using the bread line. 
normally I use the mono leader on the blade line, but uh, if I forget to bring the leader or just uh, lazy to use the leader, I use tubing with a bubble stopper on this one. It makes the, uh, to help prevent the front hook to catch the line, especially walking baits or uh, even this, when I jerk it, twitch it, the hook tend to catch the line a lot or just cast it. And then sometimes the hook catches the line. But uh, if I put the kind of tubing, it's tiny, tiny tube, like uh, two, three inches like that, it helps a lot. So uh, I recommend to use, if you use the bread line directory, uh, I recommend you to use the kind of small tube in front of the bait, like this. Thank you for watching. Uh, eight color of uh, chop kicker will be available at takuwehouse.com pretty soon.